Hello again. Uh, this is Otis Landerholm. I'm an immigration lawyer. I fight for the rights of immigrants who are hoping to stay in the United States. Uh, this video is the second video in our How to Apply and Win Naturalization uh, video series. Naturalization, of course, is the application process for U.S. citizenship. Um, so in our first video in the series, we went through each of the eligibility criteria and we talked about some of the more nuances on how to make sure you're eligible to apply for citizenship. Um, now I'm going to be talking more about the application process. Okay, so um, the naturalization process, it's a relatively straightforward process. Um, I basically uh, break it down into four steps. Uh, the first step is the paperwork. Uh, the second step is the notices and the fingerprints. Third is the interview and the tests. And fourth is the oath. Okay, so um, the paperwork is, um, you know, basically uh, any application with uh, immigration is uh, forms and evidence. Okay, so uh, uh, the form for the naturalization process is called Form N-400. Um, and we also submit it with a form G28, which is the notice of entrance of an attorney on your behalf, okay? The evidence that goes along with the case is the proof of all of your eligibility, okay? Uh, proof of filing taxes, a proof of good moral character, which includes filing taxes, proof of all of your trips outside the U.S., proof of your physical presence in the U.S., proof of your good moral character, all right? If you want a complete checklist of all of that, then feel free to call my office and we might be able to um, uh, attach uh, something here if we can get our most up-to-date uh, checklist for citizenship. Um, but, uh, but we have that, and so we can just contact us. We can get that to you if you don't see it here on the website. Okay, so that's basically the pro uh, that's the paperwork. So um, that's the paperwork and the process. Actually, um, uh, we submit the paperwork. Uh, the government um, gives you a whole bunch of notices and asks you to go in and get your fingerprints taken. Then uh, you go in for your interview, and then you get a decision, and then you take your oath. So how to apply? Basically, you uh, first you um, complete all the forms correctly. Second, you compile all the evidence you have in support of your application. Third, you put the complete application together. You write a cover letter explaining how you're eligible. Um, fourth, um, if you are in my office, you uh, make two copies of the whole application, uh, one for uh, you, the client, one for our file, uh, and then the original uh, goes to the government. Um, the sixth thing, of course, is you send that application. You send it certified to the government um, to the appropriate location, which will depend on where you live. So look in the instructions and make sure that you're submitting it to the right place. And, um, and then uh, the process begins. Okay? So uh, what else do you need to know? So uh, really I want to talk about the benefits of citizenship for a second. So um, U.S. citizens, of course, can vote. Uh, you can hold public office, you can apply for federal jobs, you can petition family members, um, you can actually petition for more family members than you could as a green card holder. Um, you can never be placed into, uh, into removal proceedings as long as you're a U.S. citizen. Um, you can travel um, uh, with much greater ease um, uh, to more countries around the world, uh, depending on where you are already a citizen from, of course. Um, you can apply for more public benefits and public assistance in the United States than you could as a green card holder. Um, there are drawbacks, of course, to being a citizen, um, depending on what country you're from. So uh, depending on your home country's laws, you may not be allowed to be a dual citizen. So you might have to renunciate your citizenship. Um, that is not the case under U.S. law, right? U.S. Uh, the U.S. does not care whether or not you're a citizen of multiple places, um, but some other countries limit your ability to be a dual citizen or, your limit, or, or limit your ability to be a citizen of the U.S. and a citizen of there. Um, the second sort of drawback um, is that um, some countries have restrictions on the ownership of property. For example, they won't allow you to own property in... Uh, you know, fill in the blank country uh, if you're a citizen of the United States, right? Um, 
uh, a lot of times they still allow you to lease property there, but, uh, but not own. So make sure to talk to perhaps a lawyer in your home country first if that's a concern to you. Um, third is sometimes naturalization process can be scary for people and sometimes it can be risky. If you have uh, triggered any red flags, um, if, you have, um, if you are quote unquote deportable at the time you file for citizenship, then you could actually uh, trigger yourself getting put into deportation proceedings through the naturalization process. So if that's your situation, then it's absolutely a risky process and you should um, absolutely consult with, uh, with a lawyer or give, give my office a call before you apply. All right, so how a lawyer can help you throughout the naturalization process. First of all, we can ensure that all the forms are filled out uh, correctly, properly. Second, we can ensure that the evidence that was included was done so properly um, and that the proper evidence is actually there in the application. Um, this can minimize your time uh, and your headache throughout the process. Third, we can represent you at the interview on your case. Um, and fourth, we can take as many precautions as possible to make sure that nothing gets lost, to make sure that everything gets in, uh, stays on track and, and that the process is undertaken smoothly. Okay? So, um, yeah, that is basically uh, uh, the w that's basically everything that I have to say about naturalization. If you have more questions or if you want uh, the help of my office throughout the process, feel free to give me a call, schedule a consultation, and we can go forward from there. Our consultations currently cost $125, okay? But if you sign up for the case um, uh, within a certain amount of time, then that fee will be uh, applied towards your um, naturalization case, okay? So uh, call my office, and I look forward to meeting with you, and best of luck on your uh, application for U.S. citizenship. All right, thank you very much.